Of course, man. No problem. All right, we just got a few questions, and um, I mean, and uh, we hope we just won't take up too much of your time. <laughs> back to packing. Cool, man. No problem. <laughs> Get back to packing. Up. All right. Yeah. Um, the first question is: What has been your your most uh, not your most favorite? Uh, what has been your favorite warp tour moment that you you've most experienced? <laughs> yeah, or your most favorite? Your most favorite. Um. I'd have to say I think meeting the Buzzcocks and hanging out with them. Um, we kind of had a, a bus party one night. Um, that was really cool. Um, getting to see him, you know, play. That was that was kind of I don't know, just uh, uh, singles going steady. You know, their 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 stuff was just I don't know. When I was before I formed Helmet a couple years before, I was that music was just something that kind of. I don't know. It got me back into guitar, you know, or got got me into songs. Like I was kind of in jazz zone from grad school in New York, and um, yeah, and I just had kind of given up on rock because all that late '70s pop rock stuff was on the radio, and I just wasn't my thing. So nice. Uh, yeah. What has Warp Tour meant to you? Um, I don't, I don't know what has it meant to me. Well, I mean got me on tour for a summer which is always great i love that i met a, met, met a lot of new friends heard some great stories um you know about uh, it was it was funny to be um to be in line in catering or whatever and have somebody come up to me and go like um mr hamilton and i was just like oh god um it's <laughs> like i still want you so because people want to tell you their 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 story, you know, they want to tell you their helmet story. And and uh, my favorite one was probably um, Jeff from the band Thursday. And and people are surprisingly shy and nervous to come up to me. I found out I didn't really I don't know why I'm, I don't think I'm scary, but maybe I am. And he he finally the keyboard player in their band told um uh, said i said is jeff kind of a dick because he's just never really says hi or anything and, and he said no no god he's just really nervous and so it's like so one day he came up to me he's like i'm really sorry i just didn't know what to say or whatever and um he said uh, he told me about when aftertaste the helmet album aftertaste was released in 1997 he was in jersey working at a gas station with a bunch of buddies i, I don't think you'll mind if i tell the story but he said yeah we, we decided we're going to get the new helmet album and we're going to play it all night long he worked the graveyard shift at the uh at the gas station we're going to drop acid and um they dro apparently dro <laughs> dropped acid and had this really bad acid trip and we're like spraying cars with gas and this helmet what album was on, on, on loop like just like a disaster i mean an absolute you can see these jersey kids it's just it's so was such a funny story so i uh yeah i, I appreciate it I, I i it was fun like i um like joan jet joan jet is a year older than me and we we talked a lot about that about doing the signings and you have kids from the ages of six to you know 60 and um just seeing your music kind of last that long and have um you know just it's funny it's not um there were bands that were really current and like the popular kids you know band with the kids today whatever and, and it was really it was funny because we just had this long sort of history both of us <laughs> um <laughs> that's awesome um yeah what what if any do you um what message would you like to tell kevin kevin lyman um kevin lyman. Uh, thank you love the guys the guy's great he um we his label he kind of helped out on this label un kind of kind of unwittingly got himself into a little bit of a mess with some people that were bad businessmen and bad people and kevin to his credit was the only one of them that phoned me invited me over to for lunch and tried to give me some of the thousands of dollars that they owed me which probably totaled about 150 grand at the end of the day um and he, it wasn't much it was but it was the, just the gesture was nice i love the guy you know he's he's um also um has pretty poor pretty poor spelling and um he he, he needs to have his assistants write his emails um <laughs> and and uh and i also how's his how's the scar on his head from when we we were we do the we did this 
kind of live air guitar band on his bus one night. And I think also he does this thing running the bulls. I forget what happened exactly, but it's just like a lot of wrestling and horseplay on his bus. And his head hit, his forehead hit my head somehow and split open. We had to pull the three buses pulling over so he could get stitched up. <laughs> <laughs> it was really funny. I guess I have a hard head. It's must be the, you know, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, we had a blast, man. I love the guy. He's, um, yeah, he's a good, good, uh, good human being, and it's uh, it's amazing that this tour is the longest running, I think, open air festival in the history of the United States, right? Yeah, I believe. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right, Paige, thank you so much, man. We I really appreciate it. We really appreciate it. Um, my my pleasure. No problem. Thanks, Tim. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Here's okay, okay, cool.